Hey there, I'm Dan Shark, also known as the Flip Shark, and I'm a buyer of vintage and modern toys and nostalgia, uh, and I resell on eBay and sometimes Facebook. And just about every week I like to go over what I found at the thrift stores and sometimes garage sales here in New Jersey. And uh, so here we are, let's find out what we found this week. We'll start with the big stuff. This guy here is the uh, Imaginext Batbot Extreme, that's with an X. If he had missiles, he would shoot him out here. He also has a little elevator and his abs open up to reveal that. The coolest of all, he has a robot ch voice changer. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm a robot. He also, oh. you, can, you can punch someone in the face with this toy. Also very heavy for a child. Shipping's probably a nightmare for something like this. Uh, so I'll probably put it up on Facebook. Hopefully sell it locally, it's around Christmas time. Um, I'm hoping to get about $40 for it. Uh, it was actually a steal. I bought it for $6 at the thrift store. So uh, either way, I think I'll make a profit. It's a really cool giant toy and I know kids love like big giant toys with lots of buttons and, and uh, features. So that'll go pretty well. We got the that bot, this is not extreme, but it is super cool. Um, it's kind of a tank, but if you turn it on, if I remember where the switch is, also super cool sounds. All systems go. And if you have batteries in this sweet bat remote, and uh, I can't really drive him right now. Also, prices on eBay are kind of all over the place with those. It's better, obviously, if you have the discs and the missiles and the Batman figure to go with it. Um, not too many have sold on eBay, but I'll probably sell that locally. Hopefully get 20 to 30 bucks for it. I picked it up for three. Next up is uh, this super cool 10-inch Black Panther. Uh, he's a Mega Mighties, part of the Mega Mighties series. Um, there's nothing special about him. He doesn't shoot uh, missiles or make noises or change voices, but uh, I thought he was cool. I haven't even seen the movie. I just think Black Panther is a cool looking uh, superhero. He's got sweet, uh, you know, panther claws right here. Um, honestly, he doesn't sell really well, even uh, brand new. He's probably about 15 bucks, uh, free shipping, I believe. And uh, he'll probably just sit on my shelf or on the floor looking menacing to all those who walk by. Oh man. I was so happy to walk across this. Uh, I had no idea at first who the hell this guy was. Um, I just, he had a look to him that he was a kind of older action figure. He's obviously very hard plastic. And when I uh, went looking for a kind of label or something like that, I saw 1990 on his foot. Oh, I'm gonna murder this name. Saburiaha, oh my God. Anyways, it's Japanese, I believe. Um, it's part of the Ultraman series. Um, he's a villain, I suppose. His name is Garukadon. Sells for about 10 to $15 on eBay. So that's a pretty good win. I picked him up for, I believe, $2. Uh, this is a quick one. I picked up a, uh, I knew he was part of the Super, Man, uh, Super Mario series world. Um, I had no idea who the figure was. Um, and I asked a good buddy of mine and he said, it's Larry Koopa, which is a ridiculous name for uh, a character. Um, but yeah, this guy actually sells pretty well on eBay. I think I saw one for 18, going for $18 plus shipping, so about 15 bucks all said and done. I picked him up for 75 cents, but I also have a couple other Koopa slash Mario uh, plushes, and I think maybe I could put them as a big set, you know, make a little video gamer uh, kid happy for Christmas. I picked up a big bag of toys, um, not a big bag, but it had a couple things in it. Um, right away I saw the Ninja Turtles characters uh, and I needed to have them even if they weren't going to sell well. Picked up Ace Duck. He uh, normally comes with some uh, wings to put on the back here and a hat. That would make him a lot more valuable. Um, likewise Casey Jones, everybody knows him. His legs are a little loose, that happens. 
Um, he doesn't have his golf bag full of, uh, you know, hockey sticks to beat up people with. But uh, with the accessories, these guys each would go for about $20 to $30. Um, without them, maybe five each. Uh, but I might just hang on to them because maybe uh, I'll collect them or I'll put them together in a big set once I find more and more. Also in the bag was uh, Batman from 1989. Let's see if we can get a close-up of him there. Um, but the cool thing about this guy is he has a retractable, oh jeez, retractable belt. And uh, most times, obviously, this belt would break when kids played uh, with this Batman. Some people on eBay are trying to sell without the belt for $5. I don't think they any have sold, but with the belt, he might actually fetch about $10. And so uh, as part of that bag I mentioned, it was about... I think five to six dollars so four figures a buck fifty each buck fifty into ten bucks for this vintage batman and another bag of toys i found this creepy dude uh he's uh the violator from the spawn series todd mcfarlane um i only knew that because it kind of has a look to it really menacing demonic uh figures he's super bendy as if you couldn't tell like he's like he seems like a pretty cheap toy um, even with this super jaw action. Um, I think it was a dollar or two in the bag. He might sell for about 10 bucks, um, but probably not. He'll probably just stand on the shelf too. Another find that uh, might not be a big seller, but something that I really wanted to bring home with me, uh, the oldest toy I think I've found in the thrift stores as of yet. Uh, this is Roboto from the uh, Masters of the Universe, you know, He-Man universe. His gears and his face shield move when he rotates full 360 degrees. Another figure that's worth a hell of a lot more if you have the accessories and other weapons. Without the weapons, he's not worth too, too much. But again, another one that's good to have for sets in the future. Um, if I could find a couple uh, He-Man characters, Skeletor would be up high up on the list. Oh, I forgot to mention, I have no idea about this guy, but... Talk about the He-Man, Masters of the Universe uh, world. Usually uh, you can find a lot of bootleg or knockoff uh, characters like this. This is obviously some kind of pro wrestler type. Um, it says Hong Kong on the back. They probably just ripped off the He-Man body type and form and slapped on some crazy googly eyes. He looks very menacing. Probably not worth anything to try and sell, but also a hilarious toy just to have uh, for the collection. And last but not least, I have the, uh, uh, actually my mom who helps me thrift found this when I walked right past it. It's a money bank, uh, suitcase for the WWE rumblers. They're these, oh, what happened here? Oh my God, I gotta go to the gym. All right. Yeah, when I broke this open, there was a bunch of, uh, rumbler figurines um, and if you're familiar with wrestling, there's Rey Mysterio. There's, uh, oh yeah, John Cena. We all know him. Oh no, sorry, that's John Cena. Can't see me. They make tons of these little, uh, guys. Um, the more little figurines you have, the better this sells. It also has a tiny little suitcase. And then the ring on top. Um, the suitcase briefcase itself sells for about 10 bucks on eBay. The more figurines you have, the better. Um, I saw one with eight figurines sell for about $20, I believe. So, um, one, two, three, six, eight, eight. So there you go. 20 bucks, most likely, uh, up on eBay. Easy sell. I bought this for $3. And that's going to do it for this week's Thrift Finds. Uh, hopefully you liked something. Hopefully you learned something in this video. Uh, and if you liked or learned anything, why don't you go ahead and help me out and like this video right down below and uh, subscribe. Because if you like this one, you'll probably like next week's. Uh, and uh, while you're at it, just comment. Comment if you want. It's free, right? Uh, but in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.